What's up, Cancer? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and also Venus. Send you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. XOXO. And happy Thanksgiving, Cancer. I hope you all enjoy. So let's hop into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you guys at this time. I didn't like that shuffle. Let's see. All right. Spirit, please guide me through, the, through this reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. What do they need to know in here when it comes to their love life? All right. So let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus, Cancer. All right. So let's see. When it comes to your person and their current energy towards the relationship, let's see. Current energy towards the relationship. We have the Page of Pentacles. How do they feel about you? We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Their current intentions, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What are they hiding? Nine of Swords. Is there someone else involved? We have Temperance. Current or future blockage, Ten of Cups. What they don't like about you? Will the Fortune in reverse? How will this relationship move forward? The Knight of Swords. Potential outcome was well, like the overall energy, the four of wands reverse. So we have the five of cups, we have the page of swords, and we have the six of wands in reverse. So I feel like somebody is still hurting over what has happened. I see where somebody is trying to like reach out or communicate, but you may be in your feelings, cancer, over what happened between you and your person. And it looks as if they feel some type of way about it okay because it's like this person is trying to somebody's trying to reconcile with you or trying to like you know come towards you and make some type of offer it looks like it's small they're trying to communicate with you guys but they just feel like you are like either like still hurting over what happened you don't want to be bothered you know you want nothing to do with them because i'm also kidding so let's see what this is about cancer all right, so we have the page of pentacles here. This is their current energy towards a relationship. Could be a towards or a Capricorn that you guys are dealing with. But the page is communication that is finally coming in. Maybe you've been waiting a long time to hear from them. The page is slower than the night. So this is somebody finally reaching out, finally saying something, putting an offer on the table. But I feel like it may be an offer that you don't want. Or maybe because it took this person so long to respond or to reach out. Let's see why the page of pentacles is here. The page of pentacles is my karmic card because it's like, Page of Pentacles energy, it kind of struggles to get off the ground and like move forward and go to the next phase. But let's see. Page of Pentacles, King of Cups. So this could be somebody that has a lot of love for you. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is somebody that is an emotional manipulator. Okay? So they like to manipulate. Or this is somebody that has emotionally manipulated you into believing them before. And that's probably why you don't believe them anymore. Or you just don't want to give in to whatever they're offering. Let's see. The Tower. They could have went through a breakup recently. And it's like now that they're going through some type of breakup or broke things off with somebody or something ended. It's like now they're coming towards you, but you don't believe them. Or this person has lied and manipulated you before into thinking something. So now you're just like, maybe you just don't know what to believe when it comes to them cancer. So you're just probably not falling for it. Okay. How they feel towards you is the eight of swords reverse. So it's like to them, they've made up their mind. Like they're sure this is what they want. But I feel like it's happening after some type of breakup or after a breakup. Let's see why it's Eight of Swords reverse. Page of Cups. Yep, see this offer comes in after a breakup. Now they're coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like now they're ready to make this offer and reconcile. But I don't know. I'm not going to say it's not genuine. But I just don't like Cancer how they're making this offer after something ends. You know, it's like now that there's an ending, they're like, okay, well, let me go to Cancer. Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, too, you guys haven't talked in a long time. You guys separated. You guys have been kind of withdrawn or distant from each other. Could be a Virgo that you guys are dealing with. I also feel like with the Eight of Swords in reverse to the Hermit, this is somebody that has really went within and thought about it. Maybe they're like, damn, why did I ever walk away from cancer? Like, what was I thinking? I should have been made this move. I should have been reached out. I should have been made an offer. It could be something like that as well that I'm getting with this person or whoever you guys are dealing with. Could be somebody that's older. For some of you guys that were going through like a divorce or a separation, this can be this person kind of like re like regretting it with that five of cups there. You know, kind of like, dang, I shouldn't have did that. All right. 
So let's see why the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse for their current intentions. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is ungrounded, though. They're not in a stable energy, okay? So let's see. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? They also could have ended a relationship with the uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're blocking this other person out, whoever this was. So there's a lot of gossip, a lot of drama, okay? It's somebody that thinks they know everything. Page of Swords in reverse. They talk a lot of shit. They always got their, their name in your mouth. You know, stuff like that. We have the Five of Wands. So they could have ended things with this person and there was a lot of drama between you and this third party or you and this the person that they were with. It was just a lot of drama. They used to probably argue with this person about you all the time. So in their intentions is to like block them and cut them off. They're going to come towards you with a whole bunch of drama and telling you a whole bunch of he say, she say, bull crap, uh, cancer. The person you guys are dealing with and telling you that they're finally moving on from them. Kind of like, fuck them, I'm moving on. I don't want nothing to do with them. Okay, so they're coming to tour, towards you to tell you that this person was ungrounded, not stable. They were mean. They feel like this person put a spell on them or did something negative or harsh to them. Because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse can be that type of person. She, you know, she's obsessed with like tarot and divination. And, you know, they can do like uh, voodoo or, you know, stuff like that. Or maybe this person is just very mean. Okay, mean spirited, they feel. Um, and they're just like coming to you, Cancer. Like, okay, like you're right. I should have never got with them. But now I want to be with you. Let's reconcile and let's work this out. Okay. So the Nine of Swords is here. This is what they're hiding, though. They're stressed out. I told you they're in regrets. Let's see why is this Nine of Swords here. The lovers in reverse. See, they feel like they've chosen the wrong lover, Gemini. Yeah, they feel like they should have, you know, held on to or hold on to the relationship instead of being with this other person. And now they regret it. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles. See, now they're coming in with this offer. King of Wands. Could be an Aries Leo Sag you guys are dealing with. Really trying to pursue you. Okay? Something that was lacking growth. It's like they're trying to come towards you. And grow the relationship again. You may feel or think this person is lying. They see that you have grown. That you're different. You're, that you're like more confident now. And they know that you're not going to fall for like what they're offering. But they're still going to try. Why is this Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Four of Cups are reverse. Yeah, they want you to accept their offer. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you guys have got out of your feelings about them. You know, I feel like Cancer, you were sitting in your feelings for a long time. And I feel like this is somebody that you really love. And I feel like you've been wanting this and been wanting to work it out. And I feel like now that you have moved on and you're not in an emotional rut and thinking about them or emotional over the situation, now they're trying to come in and, like, make this offer. Let me see. Messages for Cancer. Cancer. Give me three messages for Cancer and love, Cancer. Give me three messages for Cancer and love. Give me one more message for Cancer. All right. So we have revenge, lashing out in anger, holding on to grief, time to forgive and forget. But I feel like they want you to forgive them. That's what this is about. We have friends. Being friends first, growing into love. Putting the friend zone. Yeah, I feel like somebody friend zone somebody. And we have trapped. Tough situation, feeling stuck, can't move on. And I feel like what it is is that they felt trapped or felt stuck. I feel like you were right, Cancer. Okay? Like, they see how right you were about this other person. You know? Or about the situation. Yeah. Nine of Cups. Three of Cups. Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah. But now this person wants to reunite, reconnect. They want to be with you. They are releasing that burden of the other relationship. Like, they feel like that other relationship was just like a burden. They feel like it was just stressful. It was just too much. And they feel like they have freed themselves from that relationship or that other person. And they want nothing to do with the other person. So, now they're trying to come towards you and, like I said, make this offer and want your forgiveness. Yeah, let's see. Temperance is here. Sagittarius energy. Let's see, is there someone else? No, I don't feel like there's no one else. I feel like the Temperance card is here because they want to work things out and balance things out with you. They want a reconciliation with you. Why is Temperance here? Yeah, see the Six of Cups? Yeah, that's you. See, they see you as the one that's stable, grounded, the one that they want to be with, the one that's loving and nurturing and caring. You could also have kids with them. 
you guys could have um, been engaged or married, but they see you as the person that they want to be with now. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, the person that they friend zone, the person that they hurt, the person that they betrayed. Let's see, they try to come out. Yeah, I see the Emperor. Somebody's going to definitely try to man up, try to man up in this situation and come towards you. They realize and see that the grass is greener with you. Mm -hmm. This is like the father of your child um, or like a husband or somebody that you guys were committed to or with for a very long time. Could be an Aries as well. Let's see why this Ten of Cups is here. This is the current or future blockage. And I feel like it's the current or future blockage because I feel like they didn't realize what they had until it was too, it was like too late. You know, and tens, even though it's in the upright, can also be ending. See, look, they separated from you here. And you guys had a lot of ups and downs. And they chose somebody else over you and got into a relationship with somebody. They could have also got with this other person over money. You know, they felt like they can use and take advantage of the other situation. But I feel like that was their karma, though. You know, whatever happened in that situation, I feel like they went through a lot in that other relationship. But it was a part of their karma. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You have to see the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They left you to go be in a karmic situation. Yep. And now they regret it. And want you back and want to reconcile. And that's why we have the Wheel of Fortune here for what they don't like about you. Because it's like, I don't feel like they don't like this part about you, but I feel like it's kind of like I told you so. I feel like it's kind of like you told them not to do it. You told them that it wasn't right. You told them that they should have did it. You told them how much you love them and care for them and that that person was a karmic and evil and the devil and that they were just using them as well and that they, you know, were taking advantage or didn't want to really be with them or it was whatever you told them and it was true. But I feel like they don't see that into now. And now that they're finally releasing and surrendering themselves to, to the situation because they got played, you know, it's like, that's why they don't like, they're like, damn, like cancer was right. So I don't feel like it's like they really don't like, like you, you know what I'm saying? Because they're coming back to reconcile with you. I feel like they don't like the fact that you are right in the situation towards the other person that they were dealing with. Okay. But they should have never left you for a karmic situation. That was on them, but maybe they needed to, to go learn some type of karmic lesson. All right. Regardless if you want them back or not, maybe it was just a part of the... You know, part of the plan. Maybe that's what they had to do. How will this relationship move forward? So this person is going to pop in unexpected. Sun in reverse. Justice in reverse. Yeah, whoever hurt you, wronged you, disappointed you, let you down, they're going to reach out to you. There's going to be communication coming out of nowhere. They might even pop up to you, pop up where you're at. You know, um, some of you guys are going to hear from this person this week or within like the next eight days. Why is the eight of wands here? Yeah, Three of Swords. They're going to pour their heart out to you and tell you that they're sorry. They're going to want your forgiveness. They're going to want to work things out. We have the Justice Skills on the Six of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. They're going to want to work things out, Cancer. Go to the Four of Wands reverse. Go to the Four of Wands reverse. Some of them might even pop up for the holidays. We have Temperance reverse. They want to talk to you about this um, relationship. They know that you don't want to reconcile with them anymore. Or they know that you're not up to reconcile with them. That you're still upset with them. They just want you to hear them out. And they're pretty much going to talk about rebuilding the relationship. Or being focused in, you know, focused on the relationship. They're going to also tell you the truth about the situation. And tell you like they, you know, been wanting to come back. And that you were right. And this other person, you know, was crazy. And this and that. And it was all you know, a lesson, and they didn't mean to do it, blah, 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 you know, that's what they're going to say, all of that, okay, they're definitely going to, like, put their heart out to you and tell you everything, they were definitely in a karmic situation, though, okay, but I will say cancer, though, I'm not telling y'all what to do, but I feel like this person did y'all wrong and was being real mean and shady towards y'all through this separation, or, the, you know, throughout the time that they were with this other person, so take that into consideration, too, all right, I'm just saying. So let's pull a few cards for uh, Cancer. Spirit, give me some messages for Cancer. Cancer. We have counseling. Our relationship needs therapy. There is just too much to work through. Yep. See, a lot of a lot of counseling because I feel like this situation still is gonna bother you or stress you or worry you or you're always gonna like feel some type of way and like have trust issues with this person. Let's see, Cancer. No more second chances. Damn, so some of you guys are like, no, I'm done. Third, fourth, or fifth. It's over. I've had enough. Yep, some of you guys have had enough. 
Six of Wands, you want to move on. You feel like and know that you deserve better. So that may be the problem and the issue. You know, they might suggest counseling. Like, okay, I'm ready to go to counseling. I'm willing to go to counseling. But it may not work. Heavy on the missing you. So I feel like you miss this person. I need to see you. I can't sleep. There's a female on here. But I feel like with the Six of Swords in reverse, it's just like you still need some time to heal. The Six of Swords in reverse is somebody that's taking a long time to heal or it's like, you're healing, but it's just, it's it's taking some time. Maybe there's just a lot of damage. Maybe this person has put you through so much. And it's not something that you can just, you know, jump right back into. Okay? So definitely think about that, Cancer. But they will be back. And you were right, you know, about this person. Okay? So I see that they regret leaving you um, to be in a karmic situation. Yep, Cancer. So that's what I got for you. All right, Cancer. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and I follow. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com, or you guys can now book on my online shop, mytearshavehealedmyheart.com. Also, Cancer, show me some love on Facebook. I do post over there as well. I'm trying to get my following up. All right. Um, so, yeah, follow your girl on Facebook as Fire Intuition. All right. I love you, Cancer. Send y'all lots of love. Stay dope and enjoy your holidays. Bye, Cancer.